Pryor Creek, Oklahoma. Pryor is a city in and county seat of Mays County, Oklahoma, United States. The population was 8,659 at the 2000 census, compared to 9,539 in the 2010 census. Originally named Kuwaya, Cherokee for Huckleberry, it was renamed Pryor Creek in 1887, the name of the local railroad station, named for the creek. Due to confusion in distinguishing handwritten mailing addresses to Pryor Creek and Pond Creek, the U.S. Postal Service name for the city was shortened to Pryor. In the early 1800s, treaties with the Cherokee, Osage, and Choctaw gave the tribe's allotments in Indian Territory in the region that would become Oklahoma. Captain Nathaniel Hale Pryor, who was married to an Osage woman and served as an agent to the Osage people, was among those settling northeastern Oklahoma. He established a trading post on Grand River, shortly before the Union Mission was established five miles southeast of present day Choteau in 1820. In 1870, the Missouri-Kansas-Texas Railroad started construction in the Cherokee Nation along the Kansas border, laying tracks to Texas. By June 1871, the railroad reached present-day Pryor Creek. A post office was eventually established naming the town Kuwaya, Indian Territory. Kuwaya is the Cherokee name for Huckleberry. On April 23, 1887, Kuwaya was changed to Pryor Creek, but the creek was dropped by the post office on January 26, 1909. The official name of the city government is still Pryor Creek despite a proposition put before voters in 1963 to change the name officially to Pryor. In 1951, voters approved the present city charter of a mayor-council government system, which provided for the election of a mayor, clerk, treasurer, police chief and eight councillors. The charter also established a cemetery, park, library board, and a municipal utility board, which oversees operations off the city-owned gas water, electric and sewer systems. On April 27, 1942, a tornado swept along Pryor's Main Street from the western edge of the business district to the eastern edge of the city, destroying nearly every building and causing extensive damage to the residential section. The storm killed 52 people, according to the U.S. Weather Bureau, but the Associated Press set the total at 62 days after the storm. More than 400 were injured in the storm that caused damage estimated at 3 million U.S. dollars. The F-4 tornado struck about 5 p.m., 1700 hours, local time, an hour and a half after one hit near Talala, Oklahoma, and mowed a path about long, killing three and injuring 12. Talala, which was not hit, is about northwest of Pryor Creek. Governor Leon C. Phillips put the area under martial law but because the Oklahoma National Guard had been activated for service during World War II, he sent state troopers to rescue victims, maintain order and prevent looting. The prior tornado ranks as the fifth deadliest in Oklahoma history behind tornadoes at Woodward in 1947, Snyder in 1905, Peggs in 1920, and Antlers in 1945. The May 3, 1999, tornado at Midwest City caused more damage but fewer deaths. Pryor is located at 36.3084275, minus 95.3169136. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 6.5 square miles, 16.9 square kilometers, of which, 6.5 square miles, 16.8 square kilometers, of it is land and 0.04 square miles, 0.1 square kilometers, of it. 0.31% is water. As of the 2010 census prior had a population of 9,539. The racial and ethnic composition of the population was 72.3% white, 0.7% African American, 16.9% Native American, 0.6% Asian, 1.9% reporting some other race and 7.7% reporting two or more races. Hispanic or Latino Americans were 4.9% of the population. As of the census of 2000, there were 8,659 people, 3,567 households, and 2,343 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,332.5 people per square mile. 514.3 per square kilometer. There were 3,887 housing units at an average density of 598.2 per square mile, 230.9 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 77.91% white, 
0.29% African American, 14.12% Native American, 0.62% Asian, 0.02% Pacific Islander, 0.97% from other races, and 6.06% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino were 2.78% of the population. There were 3,567 households out of which 30.2% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 52.1% were married couples living together, 10.6% had a female householder with no husband present, and 34.3% were non-families. 30.9% of households were made up of individuals and 16.3% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.35 and the average family size was 2.95. In the city, the population was spread out with 26.1% under the age of 18, 9.5% from 18 to 24, 25.7% from 25 to 44, 19.9% .9 from 45 to 64, and 18.8% .8 who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 36 years. For every 100 females, there were 91.4 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 84.6 males. The median income for a household in the city was $29,424, and the median income for a family was $37,115. Males had a median income of $33,547 versus $20,737 for females. The per capita income for the city was $16,887. About 10.8% of families and 13.6% of the population were below the poverty line, including 19.9% of those under age 18 and 6.4% of those age 65 or over. The mayor is elected citywide for a two-year term. The city is divided into four wards which each elect two councilmen to two-year terms. In 2018 it was proposed that the city manager will assume control over city services and funds with the mayor acting in a ceremonial capacity, however the mayor will still be chairman of the city council. Prior public schools includes one early childhood center, three primary schools, one junior high school, one senior high school, a performing arts auditorium and a basketball arena. Pryor is also home to Northeast Technology Center Pryor and Pryor Beauty College. Rogers State University has a branch campus in Pryor. Oklahoma State Institute of Technology also has a Mid-America Industrial Park training location located southeast of Pryor. The Thunderbird Youth Academy, funded by the federal government and operated by the Oklahoma National Guard, is a 22-week program to help high school dropouts restructure their lives. It is open to men and women who are Oklahoma residents, 16 to 18 years old, and is free to the participants. It is held at the site of the former Whitaker State Orphans Home. Mid America Industrial Park is located about south of Pryor. In May 2007, Google announced its plans to build a large Internet data center at the Mid America Industrial Park. The $600 million facility is now open and employs around 400 people. It is currently Google's second largest data center in the world. Google shut the worksite down in 2008 because of the status of the United States economy and work on its overseas projects and affairs, then restarted the project in October 2010 and opened at the end of September 2011. In February 2018, Google announced a $600 million expansion to their data center in Pryor. The investment was to build a new four-story data center, which brought Pryor to be Google's second-largest data center in their operations. This brings their total investment in the prior community to $2.5 billion. According to the Encyclopedia of Oklahoma History and Culture, manufacturing employs about 40% of the city's workforce. It is the seventh largest manufacturing center in the state. The main industries that it serves are machinery, metals, electronics, and transportation equipment. Prior is home of Catch the Fever Music Festivals, which is host to Rocklahoma, just north of Prior Creek. Area recreational facilities include a new municipal recreation center that includes an indoor swimming pool, fitness center, meeting rooms and a chapter off Boys and Girls Club. Pryor also has five city parks, Whitaker, Centennial, Roosevelt, Bobby Buck, Earl Ward, as well as a softball and baseball complex. Earl Ward Park is home of the city-owned 18-hole golf course and is located just east of the industrial park on Highway 69A. Pryor is also just a few miles away from Lake Hudson, Grand Lake, and FT.
Gibson Lake. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.